Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, I will show you how to customize the appearance of the view tree view component using a template. Looking at this example, you can see the tree view nodes are customized based on their levels. Icons and images were added to the tree nodes, and the expand and collapse icons were also customized. Let's see how to customize the tree view nodes in an existing view tree view application. I open a view application where I have added the tree view component with the fields property. I have bound a self-referential data source with these fields. If you want to see how to bind self-referential data to the view tree view component, refer to the video attached in the card above. I run this example using the npm run dev command. Look here, the my folder parent node is expanded initially, and other nodes and their corresponding subnodes are displayed as I expand the respective parent nodes. Next, I will show you how to customize the tree nodes using a template. I want to display the number of new messages in the inbox and the total number of items in the drafts folder and sent items folder. To do this, I modify the existing data source by adding a new field, count with the appropriate value. Next, I create a custom template to display this count along with the node text by defining a template with the vslot directive. I name this template node template. This template receives a data object as its parameter. To display the count field along with the node text, I add two span tags, one for displaying the node text and the other for displaying the count. To display the tree node text, I assign the name field to the span tag using the data parameter. To better align the count on the tree node, I place this span tag inside a division element. Now, I need to check if the current node has a count field in it. So, I add a condition using vif. If the count field exists, I add the count to that node using the data parameter. To align the node text and message counts in a tree node, I add a class attribute to the division tag and add the appropriate class. I then assign this node template to the component using the node template property. Finally, I navigate to the style.css file, where I am going to add custom styles. I define the class node badge and add the CSS styles, float, and margin. As you can see, the tree view component shows the total number of items in the drafts and sent items nodes, and the number of new messages in the inbox node. Next, I am going to show you how to display these numbers using the badge component. To start using the view badge component, you need to install the Syncfusion view notifications package using the command npm install at syncfusion slash ej2 view notifications hyphen hyphen save. As I have already installed this package, I am skipping this step here. I define the class attribute and add the predefined classes eBadge and eBadge primary to the span element to display the number of messages as a badge. Next, I define the CSS reference to the badge component by importing the material theme. Look here, the inbox, drafts and sent items badge counts are displayed. If I want to customize the nodes based on their levels, I can set custom styles for each level of node using the CSS class property. To demonstrate, I define the CSS class property and set the value custom to it. Then, I navigate to the style.css file. And here I am going to customize nodes based on levels. So let me define the appropriate classes for different levels along with the custom class. I display the first level nodes in bold by setting the font weight to bold. As I want to display the second level node text in a different color, I set the color attribute to an appropriate color. For the leaf nodes, I want to show them in a different font color and in italics, so I define the font style and color attributes with appropriate values. Looking at the tree view component now, the parent nodes are shown in bold, the second level node's text color is customized, and the leaf nodes are in italics. Next, I will show you how to change the expand and collapse icons. 
To add the icons, I define a font face with a specific source path and name its font family customize icon so that I can start accessing the required font icons for this tree view at the application level. For these classes, I set the font family name and the appropriate content values to access the needed font icon. You can see the newly added icons for the expand and collapse icons. Finally, I will show you how to add images and icons to the TreeView nodes using templates. I modified the existing data source by adding a new field, image, with the appropriate value for the nodes employee 1 and employee 2. I also add a field, icon to the node sales reports and marketing reports. The view tree view supports a list of predefined icons. Here I chose to add the PDF icon. I bind these icon fields to the component using the icon CSS property. Here, icon CSS is a built-in class that contains the required styles for displaying the icon. To display the image in the tree node, I add a division element within the template tag and check if the current node has an image field. If so, I add the image tag. Define the source attribute and set the image field using the data parameter. I also set the alt attribute with an appropriate value. To align the node image and the text, I add the class attribute and add the class image to it. I navigate to the style.css file and define this image class with the required CSS styles like float and padding. I also define the required styles like background image, background position, and margin for displaying the custom icon. You can see the tree nodes are rendered with images and icons. In this video, we saw how to customize the Sync Fusion View Tree View component using the template option. We learned how to change the expand and collapse icons and customize the tree view nodes based on their levels. Finally, we saw how to add icons and images to the tree nodes. If you would like to see a working example, you can download one from the GitHub link in the description below. I have also provided a link in the description where you can check if you qualify for our community license. If you found this video useful, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.